Hi, this is Mark Johnson from Multi360. I'm at the 2012 Forrester Customer Intelligence Forum. I'm sitting with Robert Carroll from SDL. Hello, Robert. Mark, how are you today? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about SDL and what you do at the company? Sure. Um, you know, SDL is a, a leader in both the web content management space and now moving out into customer experience management uh, through all types of things, including uh, automated language translation, um, structured content, uh, media management, uh, and analytics with a recent acquisition that we had of, uh, of um, a company. Great. Robert, what would be the biggest challenge for marketers in the next three to five years? I think the biggest challenge is, is to figure out what not to do. Um, there are so many vehicles, so many platforms for marketers to work on that it can be daunting um, in knowing what strategy to follow. Um, and there's a lot of pressure I see from the C-suite to engage in all channels. Now, I'm not talking about necessarily delivery channels, I'm talking about you know, social media strategies, um, what, what's going to work for you, what's not going to work for you. I see people just you know, jumping in without really stepping back and having a strategic plan for that. And um, the, also there's a lot of pressure um, on marketing um, now that things are very well, it can be very well measured, which I think is a very positive thing for marketers because they can make the case for greater funding or can really show uh, how they're affecting the, you know, the bottom line. Um, in ways that marketers never could before. It was always, marketing was always kind of a soft thing. Um, so I think pulling all those things together and the changing of market, marketers to being really more metrics aware, but at the same time, I think content still remains the center of any marketing effort. And as you can see that, there's a lot of growth in spending around content. Um, so I think uh, keeping that in mind while at the same time being able to deliver out to the channels in the way that your audience wants to be delivered to um, is, is going to be crucial. Great. That said, what are the biggest opportunities for marketers in the next three to five years? I think the biggest opportunity is around um, you know, relevancy. I mean, a lot of us were burned several years ago with the words you know, personalization and things like that. So I tend to stay away from those words and talk more about relevancy. Now, how can you make not only your content relevant, and I, and I believe content drives you know, many things, uh, you know, brand loyalty, brand equity, uh, transactions, uh, leads, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I think it's, it's going to be really, really important to continue to focus in on that you know, content development piece um, and uh, you know, move forward from that. Great. Does your technology use its design to evoke the senses to help shape and steer meaningful and desired expectations for your products and brands? Yes, yes, I think it does. Um, you know, if you look at our customer and the experience they're trying to evoke for their customers, and, and this kind of follow on to your previous question, getting back to that word relevancy. So how can you, if you're a global company, and that's who we sell to, if you're a global Fortune 1000 company, um, and you have to maintain management of a brand around the world, deliver it to every device on the planet, based upon specifically where your customers want to receive your content, um, and make sure that that content is you know right form factor and is the right you know targeted experience for that customer. And that's what our products um, allow um, our customers to allow their customers to experience. So creating that ultimate experience is a really um, is a really kind of a, a sea change around that. I mean, some, a lot of people use a page model; it doesn't work in the in the world that we live in. You know, all content needs to be modularized and and then targeted, made relevant to a person, and then delivered in the format with which you know the device that they're using. And this could be digital signage; it could be elevator, it could be kiosks, it could be you know all smartphones, any kind of connected device that you can think of. Great. Experience drives engagement, and engagement drives loyalty. Yet at every part of the channel, people have to feel engaged. What are the challenges you see in multi-channel communications for today's marketer, and how does your product help address those challenges? Right. Um, so I think it's really understanding the customer journey, um, and that customer journey can come in several different ways, right? From, you know, obviously initial touch, it can come from buying a product, um, and you know, creating a unified experience throughout that whole journey. So taking, depending upon what your business is, you know, our products allow people to have that initial touch with people in the language that they want to have it in. I mean, they, if you look at uh, people's propensity to buy, 
uh, goes up 80% if it's in their native tongue, right? So it's not a, we don't live in an English-driven world anymore, and we need to realize that. Um, and so by understanding all of those touch points from, uh, you know, consideration to engage to buy to, you know, all the customer support and, and follow-up, you need to make sure that you're, you know, triggering the right sort of engagements with those people. So, that, so we allow for that, for that kind of product, for that type of engagement. Um, we have a product called uh, SDL Smart Target, which is um, particularly good at creating what we call a cocktail of touch points for a person based upon specific activities. And that's very, very targeted and, and in the language in which they speak. Great. Give us a high level overview of your product and how it helps drive more effective engagement and therefore better marketing outcomes for the brands. Sure, I think the, um, the one, we have a very uh, uh, intuitive user interface for people to use and allows non-technical people, marketers, um, uh, and, and others to really uh, you know, engage with the audiences in ways they, they couldn't before and engage with channels they couldn't engage before and I, I include social media with that. So um, we are based on a uh, kind of a modular way of looking at content and a content-centric view of the world. Uh, while we have analytics and those things are really important, um, you've got to have something to analyze, and that's content. So I do believe that content is the heart um, of all marketing efforts. So um, you know, that's what we allow to do. We also you know, have media management. Rich video is you know, incredibly important these days. I think you know, it's you know, trying to grab attention, and video is the way a lot of people want to receive information. Um, so we, through our media manager product, we, we solve that problem. Um, we also allow for uh, you know, a multi-channel experience, uh, you know, a, a cross-channel experience that all can be defined by the marketer um, in simple ways. Great. Multi360 believes that there's six qualities that define engagement. Value, efficiency, trust, consistency, relevancy, and control. Which terms do you think, or which term do you think the market finds the easiest to implement, and which term do you think the market finds the most challenging to implement? Could you give me those terms again? Absolutely. Value, efficiency, trust, consistency, relevancy, and control. Um, I think the, well, I think the, well, let me start out with what I think is the, the, the easiest. Um, and I think it is probably, what was your first one, the product? Um, value, value, efficiency, yeah. trust. So I think value is, is probably, um, you know, if you're not even at the most basic level of marketing getting across your value, and, you know, we've always had that challenge as marketers, you know, long before the new ways of marketing have come forward. So I think creating, val you know, showing that value and your value proposition is probably, um, you know, a, a historic marketing attribute at which to be successful. The hardest one in all of that is relevancy. Because um, relevancy is, um, you know, it's determined, as I said, by language, it's determined by your location at any moment in time, it's determined on, you know, day parts. You know, we react to content at different times. You know, during the work hours, we're going to want a certain level of content. Uh, after hours, it may be a little bit different. So learning what is really relevant to your customer, I think is a, it's, it's a very hard challenge. And then that is you know, made exponentially more difficult given all of the, uh, the outlets that you have. You know, cross-channel, multi-channel, the devices. I think we interact with devices in very, very different ways based upon um, you know, where we are in a moment in time. So uh, those are really hard problems to figure out, particularly because I don't think anyone has really um, you know, automated that entire process for people, or, or there's just a lot of strategic planning involved. Great. Robert, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with us today. No, I appreciate it. Thank you.